Hello again. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be going over the scripts that I linked in the second commentary. So, yeah, let's get started. Uh, actually, before I show you guys all these scripts, I'd like to show you my mouse and keyboard, because they are quite different, as you can clearly see. Uh, this is the Wolf King keyboard. Is It is the keyboard I'm using. It kind of has this tumor thing off to the side, which makes it very easy to hit a lot of the keys. For example, I can hit O, B, R, G, T, K all very easily. I can hit Q, E, A, S, D, F, Z, X, C very easily, so I hope that clears up some of the binds. Um, now for my mouse, it is a Microsoft Sidewinder. I do love this mouse because, first of all, it has adjustable weight as well as ad adjustable pads, but these two buttons here and here on the side, I use them for my modifiers. This one's Alt, this one's Control, which uh, all the scripts came defaulted with, so that's the reason why. Now, let's get into it with the autoexec.cfg. I'm not quite sure how many of you have scripting knowledge, so I'm going to go over this really quick. We have basically two commands, Elias and bind. Essentially what Elias is saying is saying, okay, I want a command that does something. So, for example, this says I want plus crouch jump to be plus jump and plus duck. And then what bind does is it says, okay, for this key right here, I want to have this command. And when I hit this key, this command will execute. So basically what this is saying is saying, I want plus crouch jump to do plus jump as well as plus duck. And I want minus crouch jump to do minus duck and minus jump. Now these pluses and minuses basically mean uh, that when it is plus it's on key push and on minus it is on key release and basically this these three lines together are saying okay when I hit space I want plus crouch jump to happen and when plus crouch jump happens I'm going to jump and I'm going to duck now I'm going to continue jumping and ducking until I release crouch jump, in which case uh, it'll execute minus duck and minus jump. So that's how scripts work. Uh, the first script, or second I guess, <laughs> is uh, pseudo zoom, which I believe is stabby stabbies, I think. Um, so this is one of those scripts where you can adjust all your numbers as need be. Um, the FOV desired and view model FOV and view model FOV demo should all pretty much be the same, but sensitivity should and uh, what key you're using are likely to change. Um, basically, what this is saying is when I hit mouse wheel up, it's going to reduce my field of view as well as my sensitivity, and that's going to make it a lot easier to uh, get headshots, and when I hit mouse down, it's going to go back to my default. Uh, I also included a kind of push to zoom type thing, which is the exact same, except um, when you push a key, it'll zoom in, and when you release it, it'll zoom out. And to use that, just take off these comment lines, as well as um, replace the... Uh, these keys with something, and if you do choose to do that, you m probably will want to comment line those off as well. So, um, do with that what you will. Now, call for medic, this is just, it's a really important bind, so I like to be very sure that it's there, and that's what's there. Uh, for network rates, this is a little hard to explain, it kind of just, uh, it really affects hit scan weapons. Uh, I recommend you do some research on your own and figure out what numbers are best for you. Um, these, from what I've heard, are pretty good just default, so, you know, you'd probably be fine using those. And then, of course, I have auto-reload on, because auto-reload is amazing. Now, I also included scout.cfg. Um, it's kind of a default. 
if you put this in every single class then it'll rebind all your things so that nothing goes wrong when, if you decide to switch classes uh, so put this all in every single class unless you have other scripts in another class which I do in demo and engineer and I'll show you this in a second but um, this does bind your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and your mouse 1 and mouse 2 uh, it also bound, binds your alt and control to useful voice menus as well as shows your view model so it's just a lot of the stuff in spy will affect these and this just resets back to default for uh, demo man and engineer I am using other scripts so they do look different so if you happen to have other scripts or other classes you're using uh, don't use this one and that one because as you can tell they are quite different now the main one is of course spy we all love spy uh, <laughs> the first one is a call medic like I said I like to be very sure I have that I was having some problems with this command later so I just made a um, an Elias that just fixed it so don't worry about that too much it's not incredibly important yeah, so the first thing we have is um, quick disguise, and you need to change your binds and modifiers as you so desire. Uh, I do have every line commented with uh, what disguise it is. For example, enemy sniper, friendly medic, the uh, numbers are a little off, medic's 5 for some reason, sniper's 2 instead of 7 and 8. So they are a little different, but I did comment those off so you can tell. Now, let's scroll down here a little bit. Um, my modifiers for this are Alt and Control, which, as I showed you before, are the two buttons on the side of my mouse, so they're very easy for me to hit. Uh, when I hit Alt, it's going to basically activate this section, and when I let go, it's going to activate this section, of course. And what this one does is it binds a plethora of keys to uh, certain disguises, uh, it's going to be Q E A S D F Z X C. Change those as you see fit. Um, yeah, it's also going to bind one, two, and three to um, switching disguise weapon, which I'll get to in a sec. Now, letting go, of course, is going to bind everything back to what it was default. Change these to your default if they are different. I'm sure you can figure it out. Now this one's a little weird because it also makes it so you stop moving left, right, and backwards because I was having problems where I would just like start moving a certain direction because I hit a certain keys at certain times and I would just start moving a certain direction without actually hitting that key and it would get me killed all the time and it was really annoying so I put this in it fixed it uh, this does take some getting used to but it definitely is worth the script um, and then I also have bind 1, 2, 3, and 4 to uh, the slots, the corresponding slots, of course. And down here, it's the same exact thing with uh, friendly disguises. So, yeah, it's basically just a copy and paste from this, except with, you know, the letters changed. <laughs> it's A instead of E, and it's 2 instead of nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, and uh, I also have auto sap which basically says, okay, when you switch to your sapper, it's just going to continue attacking until you switch out of it. And it's just a convenience. You don't have to worry about left-clicking when you have your sapper out. You just sap everything in sight. So that's pretty useful. Now, this is the disguise switching. Basically, what it says is um, when you hit quick switch 1, it's going to switch to your ambassador and then it's going to use the last disguise command which is going to make it so that your disguise weapon switches to the primary and then when you let go it's going to switch to your knife and it's like that for the sapper as well as the knife uh, except for the knife it doesn't have when you let go switch to your knife because of course you're already at your knife and that is right here so when you hit alt and then you hit one you will switch to your primary and then you'll switch to your knife or your disguise will switch to their primary and then you'll switch to your knife so that's uh, pretty convenient um, actually one good use I found of that is if you just sit there spamming that it looks like the disguise is switching weapons and people are less likely to uh, spy check you which is kind of interesting <laughs> so 
uh, moving on we have Stabby Stabby's uh, Ambassador View Model script. Very useful script. I'm very happy he came up with this because it is completely awesome. Um, y we start off with the uh, let's see the slot. It just binds everything to the corresponding slot as well as the watch. And then uh, we get down here. Now this is pretty much a mess of code. And for this one, I'm just going to take this out really quick. Uh, this is the thread that it... This is for something completely different from the AMB CD wave, which I'll cover later. I'm just going to get rid of that for now so it's a lot cleaner looking. Um, basically what this is going to do is when you switch to your ambassador, it's going to turn on AMB VM mode. And basically what AMB VM mode says is it binds your attack to get rid of your view model and so it will let you turn on auto reload because you can shoot your view model disappears and your view model won't get in the way of you getting headshots of course so it lets you have your auto reload on which as i said before is completely awesome uh... usually i didn't have it on because i used ambassador all the time and it was really annoying and i couldn't shoot anybody but now that's a lot better um, when you switch to knife it just shows your view model so essentially all it does is the first time you shoot your ambassador it's gonna just get rid of your view model so you can turn auto reload on that's all this is uh, right here actually is something I was testing out which is uh, actually what this little link thing was for um, essentially ambcd wave is going to be a sound clip that is one second of silence and then it plays a sound so once the sound plays then you can headshot again uh, it only works for me about 10 percent of the time so you don't have to worry about that too much if you want to you can just delete it um, yeah but I do believe that is everything um, if you guys have any questions, just ask me and I will answer them if this video is inadequate, uh, <laughs> which I wouldn't be surprised, but, uh, you know, just tell me and I'll answer questions. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm coming out with a Your Commentary soon, hopefully, uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Thanks.